Have you ever wondered how to make dashboards interactive? Like if you have visualizations showing region wise data and you want to select one region and check the relevant data for that specific region, how should you do that? So there's an easy way to do that in Tableau by using the feature called actions. So hello everyone, welcome to today's session and in today's video, we will get to learn about what are actions, when do we need them and how does it work on Tableau. So without any further delay, let's get started. But before we go ahead, if you like our videos, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you are interested in learning Tableau from scratch, do check out Edureka's Tableau certification training. So in today's agenda, we will start with why do we use actions in Tableau, followed by what are actions in Tableau, different types of actions, and finally we will look into the hands-on actions in Tableau. So stick around till the end and you will learn everything there is about actions in Tableau. So first, let's go ahead and understand why we use actions. Well, by using actions in Tableau, you bring interactivity in your data, be it a dashboard or a worksheet, users are redirected to specific actions that you set up by merely hovering or clicking in your visualization. So let's take a use case scenario. Suppose we have four different worksheets or reports with four different visualization like sales data, profit data, revenue data, and demographic data. Now, if we want to see the changes in visualization for a particular parameter, suppose a specific state, then how do we do that? Like if you want to look into the sales, profit, revenue data based on one specific region, how would you do that? So without using actions, the first step would be to filter on each visualization, like to put filter on sales data, profit data, revenue data, and demographic data. So that way, when we put filter on sales data, we'll get the highlighted column for that specific region. And similarly, for profit, revenue and demographic data, we have to individually filter out that region and get the data for that specific region. But alternatively, in Tableau, if we can use actions, we can see the changes across all the visualizations for a particular selected parameter, which is region here we are talking about. So once we select a specific state in sales data, it would show us the highlighted data in all the chosen visualizations. So that's basically the purpose of using actions where we can see the changes in visualization across all worksheets or in the dashboard for a particular selected parameter. Now let us quickly understand what are actions in Tableau by definition. So by definition, a dashboard action is an interactive element on a Tableau dashboard that is driven from the worksheets within that dashboard. So action basically adds context and interactivity to your data. Users can interact with your visualizations by selecting marks or hovering or clicking a menu and the actions you set up can respond with navigation and changes in the view. So to talk about actions, there are different types of actions that we can see in Tableau. But mainly we use the first three to mention, which are filter, highlight and go to URL. So in filter, what happens is we use the data from one view to filter that data in another view or in the dashboard to guide with the analysis. Next, when we talk about highlight, in highlight, we highlight the marks of interest by coloring specific marks and dimming all the other factors. Next, in go to URL, you can create hyperlinks. So hyperlinks will take you to external sources such as web page or a file or another Tableau worksheet per se. So these three are widely used and are helpful in the visualizations. Other than that, we have three more actions, which are go to sheet, change parameter and change set of values. So in go to sheet, it simplifies the navigation to other workbooks and other dashboards or stories. While in change parameter, it lets the user change the parameter values by directly interacting with marks on a visualization. And lastly, in change set values, it lets users change the values in a set by directly interacting with marks on a visualization. So we will get to learn about a few actions in hands-on. So for that, let us go to Tableau. Here we have imported the global superstore data. So this is how it's going to look. So we are taking month-wise profit, country-wise profit and category-wise profit and putting all the worksheets in a dashboard where we'll see the changes reflected according to the selected parameter. So let's start from scratch. We'll repeat the process by making a new worksheet. So let's see how we have made the first few worksheets and then understand how we can incorporate actions in them. 
and then how we can visualize that in a dashboard. So first we will make a worksheet called month wise profit. So for that we will drag the date which is the order date here to columns and select month from here from the drop down. Now since we want to look into the month wise profit we will drag profit in rows. So this is how it looks. Now if you want to change colors you can drag profit to color. Then by double clicking on colors you can edit color and I want to choose green for the profit and I also want to add legends to profit. So I'll drag profit to label and here we can see the data for each point. So this is giving us month wise profit. Now let us make the country wise profit for that. Let's name the sheet first as country wise profit. Now what we have to do is drag profit to rows and countries to columns. So this is a plain bar chart but we want to see it in a map. So I'll select the geo dimension here and we can see it on the map. So which countries have the highest profit, which has loss, which has less profit. We can see it in a map visualization and if you want the legends then here also we can add that by dragging profit to label. But this kind of looks a little clumsy so I'll let it be. Next let us make a sheet on category wise profit. Category wise profit. So here same again we drag profit to rows and categories to column. So there are three categories and we can see office technology. Now if you want you can also add region to columns. This will give you a region wise category wise profit. So here we can see that for each region how it is showing. So we'll let this be. Now let us make a dashboard. For making a new dashboard we can click here or we can go to dashboard and make a new dashboard. So now we have these visualization. These the first few were already made. So I'll rather choose the ones that we made now. So we have the month wise profit. We'll have the country wise profit and the category wise. So let's enlarge the size of the sheet like this. So we have the month wise profit, country wise profit. Now we have to add the category wise profit. We'll add it here. So this is our dashboard with month wise profit, category wise profit and country wise profit. So we have dragged all the worksheets in here. So we go to worksheet and select actions. There's also a shortcut key which is control shift A to get actions. Here we will select this workbook since we want to see the reflection on the dashboard and not this sheet specifically. So now we go to add action. We go to filter. Now here we can choose the name of the filter. Let's choose from here. So let's name it market analysis. And for run action we have selected select and there's option like hover or menu. But we want to select from the visualization and here we are choosing. We'll unselect all of them and select the source sheet as month wise profit since these were already done. So it's showing twice and now in month wise profit we will choose dashboard 2 and we want to see all values. So we'll select show all values. Now we'll press OK. So if we select April this is showing us the April data for category wise profit country wise profit and even month wise profit. So all we have to do is just go here and select a specific date or a specific point on the line diagram and it can just show the change in data across all visualization. So similarly when we go to country wise profit and go to worksheet actions add action filter and here we will choose country wise profit select the target sheet as dashboard 2. So we want to see the changes across all visualizations. Now OK. So when we are selecting Russia this is showing us the data for Russia in all the visualization. Similarly if we want to create a highlight. Now we go to worksheet go to actions add action. We want to use highlight. So let's add countries. We want it across all visualization dashboard 2 country wise profit all fields because we want it across all fields. Now press OK. So here if we are selecting Russia 
it's showing us the highlighted Russia. If we select Oceania, then it's showing us the highlighted Oceania in the visualization. So you can play around with actions using it in different ways across your worksheets. Next, we'll see the go to URL type. So here we go to action, go to URL. Now here they've asked for a hyperlink. So hyperlink is basically any link that can redirect you to a web page or another tablet sheet or another Excel file or some file. So what we can do is we can add generalized web page link for an example. So let's take country details. Let's name it as country details. Here also let us select run action to be select. And now for the URL target, we are choosing a new browser tab. So for the URL, we'll select a generalized URL, which let us take it as a Wikipedia link. So we will copy this link and paste it here. So this is a generalized link. Now what we need to filter on is country. So from here we insert country. So whenever you're selecting one country, it is going to lead us to a web page of that specific country. So let's see how it's working. Now we press OK. Now let's go to our dashboard and select China. So when we select China, it's leading us to the web page of Wikipedia where we have the details of China. So similarly, you can make your own URL or you can make your own page and give the URL of that specific page or even a tablet worksheet if you want. So that's about actions that we usually use. There are more actions, but those are not used at a daily level. I think this would help you get an overall idea of how actions work in Tableau. And I hope this video will help you understand actions better and use it in your data analysis to check the visualizations across worksheets in dashboards and reports for specific selections and make your visualization and analysis easier. If you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. That's it for today. Thank you. See you again in our next video. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.